from a population of 125. Welcome to Ice Cold Honey, Colorado. This is the LARCC Trucking pregame show. Coming in here tonight here, this is going to be boys varsity action here. Game 4 of 4 here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network here today. And game 2 of the doubleheader here in Honey, Colorado. Starting off with the Walsenburg Panthers. Made the quick I-25 trip down here, trying to build off of the 15-point double-digit win here versus Primero last Wednesday in the 57-42 victory. They kick off game four of the 2A Santa Fe League duel. Currently one and two entering tonight, sitting at a cool 500 at four and four. They're led by second-year head coach who has built a great culture here with Lester Berry. Players to look here. Starting off with Elton Chavez, a talented athlete, is one of the best athletes in Southern Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, this kid's special. College recruits, recruit him or have the misery of trying to contain him because I definitely could see him at the next level in whatever sport he wants. Also, you know, you can also guarantee him to have a double-double um, last year in 20 of the 20 games having double-double and three triple-doubles last year in his campaign. I keep an eye on also on Nino Cisneros. Last time he was in the 81046 in the football world. Posted six catches for 132 yards with two touchdowns. He averaged an even nine last year in the basketball world. Also a player that's always a pleasure to watch is going to be Gabe Barella. You know, also this Panthers team obviously headlined by Cisneros and Chavez. Also look for Gabe Barella. This guy's a three-point specialist. The Farmers are going to have to watch him on the shot from downtown because he had 55 attempts last year, being 45% from free. Going over to the Farmers, they're in the middle of a tough four game stretch. Playing some higher league basketball, obviously, most notably will have the task of trying to upset, in my opinion, the best 2A men's team in Crawley County led by Gunnar Hughes and company this Friday night. We'll have that coming to you as well on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. But you know, jumping back into the players, players to watch for they are deep obviously many high quality guys on this roster but you know three very stand out to me that's going to be the junior Levon Baticha junior Nathan Zamora with the point guard and also wrapping up wearing the Larry Bird number the sophomore Jason Guzzo them three averaging 24.2 of the 45 seven points and Baticha and Guzzo sitting one and two spots in rebounds in the early farmer season Baticha 7.3 and Guzzo 6.4. Going to wrap it up here. Tip off coming up next here on the snowy Tuesday night. Next here, all on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. Lovato Concrete is a multi-generational family business that has proudly been serving its community for over 30 years. Lovato Concrete specializes in all types of concrete, including foundations, walls, sidewalks, slabs, driveways, and decorative stamped concrete. 
big enough to handle large commercial projects, but caring enough to take pride in residential projects too. They'll get your project done right. Give them a call today at 719-680-8512. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, tip off coming here from Honey, Colorado. Having the starting lineups here for the Farmers. Actually gonna start with the Panthers running the number zero number, Elton Chavez. Number one, Vallejos. Number two, Nino Cisneros. Number three, Gabe Barella. Number four, Adrian Silva. Number one, Lavon Bachicha. Number three, Nathan Zamora. Number 23, Jacob Magnet. Number 33, Jason Guzzo. And wrapping it up, the man in the middle, gonna be Bobby Terry. Will be Bachicha versus Chavez here on the tip. High school basketball getting started here in Honey, Colorado. It's gonna be the Farmers winning the tip. Bobby Terry has it. Bobby Terry back on over to Guzo, pump fake. Guzo back over to Zamora. Zamora thought about it. Zamora back over, over to Terry. Terry back over to Guzo. Guzo has a right wing. Magnango still thinks down back over to Zamora, left wing, that's gonna be Terry. Terry feet inside to Pachicha working on Barella and Silva. Nice block there from Panthers, rejected there, but Guzzo going back up with it. Nice block there from Elton Chavez. Magnet wide open in the left wing. Guzzo finally finds him. Three-point specialist, Magnet up and good. That three from Cougar Canyon from Jacob Magnet. Panthers are gonna have to watch Jacob Magnet here tonight. He can shoot the three ball. Here comes Vios, he's gonna have it back on over to Barella. Nino Cisneros gonna have it back over to Vios. Vios was one. Good player in the TSC tourney coming up with a player of the game in one of them. Elton Chavez, Hail Mary up and no good. Bachicha here getting us started. Here comes Zamora. Zamora back over to Guzzo. Guzzo long three, slings it up. Rouse right off the rim, Guzzo recovers. Guzzo back on over to Bachicha. 6.40 remain, 3-0 to zero is the score. Bachicha over to Bobby Terry. Bobby Terry played quarterback on this Farmers team last year. Here comes Zamora, sends it back on to Bobby Terry. Bobby Terry back on the magnet tip. El Chavez out of bounds, staying right here. Thank you all who have joined us here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. Please feel free to subscribe, like, and give us a like on Facebook. 6.15 remaining, 3-0 to zero is the score. Magnet feet inside of Bachicha. Bachicha into the hands of Guzzo. And a foul. Jason Guzzo playing really aggressive here, quickly here in the first quarter. Foul was called on Gabe Barella. That's going to be his first of the night. Here comes Alton Chavez running, gunning. Alton Chavez, no look pass. Nino Cisneros up, no good. Recovered Bobby Terry. Back over to Magnet, going to sling it back on over to Zamora. Zamora has it. Zamora, little Euro step, slings it up, up, no good, recovered Silva. Silva, 7.8 points per game last year for this Walsenburg Panthers team. Here comes Vallejos, brings it past the timeline. Vallejos slings it back on over to Cisneros. Cisneros, three point specialist for the Panthers. Barella, uno, dos, tres, de Barella. 
Here comes Jacob Magnet. He has it. Jacob Magnet tipped there by Nino Cisneros. Quickly cover there. Here comes Guzzo working inside. Guzzo gets a body and a charge. Offensive oh, foul there on Jason Guzzo. It'll be Panthers ball. 5.20 remaining. 3-3 three to three is the score. Here comes Vallejos. He has it for the Panthers. Back on over. That's going to be Nino Cisneros. Nino Cisneros inside Elton Chavez. Elton Chavez tipped outside. Gabriel, another three of no good. Re tipped. Recovered. Here comes Vallejos coming in fast. Nino Cisneros up and good. Panthers are up. Nathan Zamora handling the point guard duties from Seth Curry range up, no good. And the Sandoval do check in here for the Honey Farmers, as well as Diego Lujan here for the first time tonight. Adrian Vios has it, slings it on over Elton Chavez, Hail Mary shot up, no good, tipped, and a foul. There'll be a push there on Jason Guzzo, two quick fouls for him. Isaiah Batista has to check in. Got another sub right behind you. Isaiah Bacicca now in for Jason Guzzo, who had two quick fouls here in the first quarter. 431 remaining, three to five is the score. Gabe Barella has it over Nino Cisneros, back on over to Elton Chavez. Gabe Barella has it. Back on over Elton Chavez, slowing things down here, trying to get a quality shot. Back over to Adrian Vallejos. Vallejos thought about it. Long three, up, and a little wedgie there. Tip by Elton Chavez. Well, that's going to be Farmer's Ball there. 4 11 remaining here. 3 to 5 is your score. Nino you know, Cisneros slings it on over to Elton Chavez. Elton Chavez has it. Elton Chavez working inside. Elton Chavez up with it. Lays a body into Bachicha up. No good. Here comes Nathan Zamora running, gunning. Going to slow down his offense. Thought about it. Back on over to Bachicha. Bacicca gets stripped there by Chavez. Two thumbs there from Ref Duran. They foul. They foul. 3.56 remaining. 3 to 5 remains your score. It's been fireworks so far in this game. Here comes LaVon Bacicca on a little Euro step. Von Bacicca's little two footer up, no good. They covered Gabe Barilla. Here comes Adrian Vajos bringing it up, brings it past the timeline here for the Farmers. Back on over to Noah Vale into the hands of Honey head coach Mike Rodolfi. Mike Rodolfi's Honey Farmers, four and five, first year as head coach. Two and two, fourth in Santa Fe, two A. And three ball up and good. Here comes Bachicha. And a late travel call there, called on Elton Chavez. Early timeout taken, head coach Barry. Take time off our own. Farmers up one here, all on the Sad Rock Sports Network. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. Six to five is the score. Lady Farmer, I mean, sorry, Pony Farmer men's are up there. Sorry about that, folks. Anyway, six to five is the score. 325 remaining in the first quarter of play. Been a great game here so far on tap. We're bringing it to you guys all here on the Sad Rock Sports Network. Isaiah Bachicha flips on over Diego Lujan. Diego Lujan has it tipped. Here comes Elton Chavez. Elton Chavez running and gunning up the court. Elton Chavez, little Euro step up, no good. Goes into the Honey Cheerleaders. Hey, Nino Cisneros here on the inbound for the Panthers. Sing on over to Chavez, pump fake on Luan up and good. And that's something Elton Chavez will do with his athletic ability. Nice little pump fake here and Panthers are up. 
Jace Rogers do check in now for the Farmers. I have no doubt in my mind he'll be the man they'll key on to try to contain Elton Chavez here as Jace Rogers do check in for the first time tonight. Here comes Nathan Zamora. He has it. Nathan Zamora going to go back over to Levon Bacicha, back over to Isaiah Bacicha. Deep three ball from Sandoval up and no good. Recovered Vallejos. Nice rebound there from Vallejos. He's going to handle the point guard duties here on this drive here for the Panthers. Vallejos sings it on over to Nino Cisneros. Nino Cisneros is going to go back over to Barella. Barella back on the side. Vallejos little yellow step. Nice little block there from Diego Lujan. Here comes Gabe Barella. Sings it on Nino Cisneros. Bobby Terry also do check in. Farmers look like they're going to go with their big man lineup here. Isaiah Bachicha back over to Nathan Zamora. And Zamora saves the ball from rolling out of bounds, but goes right in the hands of zero from Purple Elton Chavez. Out of bounds, though, that time, last touch, Neil Cisneros. Bobby Terry, Chase Rogers in. Diga Lujan, Isaiah Bachicha out. Two minute warning here, 156 remaining. Six to seven is your score. Panthers are up. Here comes Nathan Zamora. Brings it past the timeline here. He's handled all the point guard duties here for the Honey Farmers so far tonight. Nathan Zamora has it. Back on over to Sandoval. Just slowing things down here, trying to get a high quality shot here. The Farmers need to get back in this game. Here comes Rogers. He has it on over the right wing. Back over to Sandoval. Back on over to Zamora. Zamora's second deep three of the night up and no good. Gabe Barella recovers. Back on over to Chavez. Elton Chavez now going to be bringing it up here for Panthers. He has two currently. Last year, 19.4 points per game. Even 20 rebounds. And he's going to head to the charity strike. So, you know, going back over to Chavez, you know, he's quite possibly one of the best athletes in Southern Colorado, if not the best. Fifth overall in the nation in rebounds per game last year. 4.7 steals per game. He is, you know, first in Colorado in rebounds per game and 19th in Colorado in assists per game. But Ch uh, Chavez goes 100% there from the free throw stripe. He now has four in the game. That foul was called on Bobby Terry. Out of bounds. Jace Rogers is going to handle the inbound duties here for the Farmers. Jace Rogers was out in that Fowler game according to Max Prep. Season high, nine points in the 60-39 to 39 win versus Swallows Charter Academy. And as we were talking about him, Rogers gets on the board with two. Rogers, one of the two seniors with Isaiah Bachicha this year for the Farmers. Here comes Burrell, handoff over Nino Cisneros, back over. Long three up, no good, recovered. Alta Chavez with the dolphin flip. Up and good. Six points, Elton Chavez. Sandoval, back over to Terry. Terry smothered. Back over Nathan Zamora, 8 11 your score. Electrifying first quarter so far. Elton Chavez running and gunning, trying to get some last minute points. The handoff to Snarrows, up and good. Put four in the box score for Nino Cisneros. Eight to 13, all Panthers. 10 seconds remaining here. Expect the Farmers to get the last shot here. Here comes Sandoval, gonna flip it on over to Terry. Terry trapped there from Chavez. We're working that right side the last two times. Last second shot up and no good from Bachicha. End of one, eight to 13, all Panthers. The High Desert Hunting Company is based outside of beautiful Aguilar, Colorado at the foot of the Spanish Peaks. Their specialty is one-on-one -on -one guided hunting adventures targeting your once-in-a-lifetime trophy animal. Originally known as Zelly's Hunting Club when it was founded in the 1930s, the modern-day High Desert Hunting Company also specializes in leasing and managing high-quality private ranches for big-game trophy hunts, bringing in clients from all over the world and bringing money into Los Animas County. Give them a call today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. Eight to 13's the score at the end of one. 
the Panthers are up currently here in Honey, Colorado. This Panthers team trying to find here 12 and 16 in two years with Lester Berry. Four and four, winning versus Rocky Ford, 62 to 44. Seventh and 2A, that one win in the 2A area was against Rocky Ford. Walsenberg as Chav is up good. Eight points for him. Now going back to Walsenberg looking for their first win in 1,799 days. Last win coming February 12, 2019 against Tony. All time series since 2005. Tony has the lead with 19 and nine. Here comes Vallejos, he has it. Vallejos back on over to Barella. Barella, long two up, no good, rattles off the rim. Recovered Zamora. Here comes Zamora, he has it. Zamora thought about it. Back on over to Guzzo. 10 to 15 to score, seven remaining here in period two. Guzzo flips on over Levon Bichicha. Levon Bichicha back on over, that's gonna be Magnet. Magnet has the three balls so far tonight. Here comes Levon Bichicha up, no good, recovered. Recovered there by Elton Chavez. Here comes Barella, he has it. Gonna we'll slow things down here for the Panthers, 10 to 15, currently your score. Deep ball there from Silva, unable to connect that time as well. Here comes Magnet, pushing up here to Guzzo. Guzzo thought about it. Cade Marquez newly entered into the game. Farmers trying to find the sweep in this three game stretch tonight. Recovered. And last touch by Purple. Landon Ecker checking in here. Silva hits the bench here for the Panthers. Here comes Bachicha, has it on over to Guzzo. Guzzo has it all over left wing. Smothered there by Vios. You know, Vios always playing great defense every time I see him play. You know, he's a really good defensive player for the Santa Fe 2A League. 10 to 15, 6 one remaining here in period two. Here comes Nino Cisneros, flip on over to Vios to bring it up here for the Panthers. Elton Chavez playing the five now. Vios on over to Cisneros. Cisneros has it going inside. Ecker tipped by Marquez. Nice tip and a foul. Ecker's going to head to the stripe. Coach Rudolphy didn't quite agree with that one as Ecker's going to head to the charity stripe. Saying he threw it. Saying got the shoulder thrown into him first before the shooting foul. Nonetheless, Ecker going to head to the charity stripe. Ecker up and good. Put him on the board with one. Ten to sixteen here. Panthers up. Marquez recovers. Zamora bringing it inside. Working on three Panthers. Throws a body into Vios. Magadan long three. No good. One for three on his attempts. Here comes Vios pushing up here for the Panthers. Isaiah Batista do check in here for the Farmers. Long three up, no good. Recover, Elton Chavez working on Marquez. Chavez stripped it up and good. Elton Chavez with a cool double digits. He has 10. 5-13 remaining here. Here comes Guzzo. Guzzo tip taken away. Elton Chavez is coming away with this game back over Nino Cisneros. Nice block. No, 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 says Levon Bachicha. Here comes Guzzo. Guzzo no look past Zamora. Flip. Farmers find a spark. Bio slowing things down after those turn of events. Barella gonna flip it on over. Barella, the three point specialist. One for two now tonight on that miss. Here comes Chavez, left wing. Chavez, three, I'm no good. Rolls out of bounds, Bobby Terry do check in now for the Farmers, as well as Adrian Silva, Jr. 
Nino Cisneros checking out now for the Panthers. Kane Marquez also checking out along with sophomore Jacob Magnet, number 23. Here comes Nathan Zamora bringing it up now, brings it past the timeline. Nathan Zamora slowing things down, flip on over to Isaiah Bachicha, the senior. Jason Guzzo long two up, no good recover. Isaiah Bachicha tipped out of bounds, heading the other way, last touched by Acker. Guzzo is going to handle, handle the inbound duties now for the Farmers. Guzzo has it. Zamora has it working on Ecker. Long three from Zamora up and no good. Achilles Hill has been missing the three ball so far for the Farmers. Terry working inside on Chavez up no good. Terry back up with it again. And a potential three-point play, Bobby Terry. Put it in the book and send Terry to the line. Timeout taking Rodolfi. You're going to take time of our own. We'll be right back here all on the Side Rock Sports Network. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. Brock Bernelli, Raven Odom here in Honey, Colorado. Tightly knitted game here. 14 to 18 is the score. Farmers trying to crawl back from 500 on the season. Panthers trying to get over that 500 mark themselves. Two game loss streak so far for the Farmers. One and one at home so far. Bobby Terry to the line, cannot make the three point play, but Pachicha recovers. Zamar no look pass, Isaiah Pachicha going left wing feet inside Terry. Terry grabs it and good. Four points here from T Terry. Here comes Chavez, brings it past the timeline. Going inside, Chavez, good, look, finger roll. 12 points out to Chavez. Here comes Nathan Zamora, brings it past the timeline. Nino Cisneros do check back in. Going to be a huge spark here for the Panthers. Sandoval going in as well. Taking away Barella. Tipped in a foul. It'll reach in. Going to get Bobby Terry there on the hit. Bobby Terry, second foul. Something to watch now for the Farmers. Nino Zamora, the point guard, checking out. Ecker checking out for the Panthers. Obviously, Nino Cisneros previously mentioned back in the game. Diego Lujan now checking in for Bobby Terry, as they saw, Terry had two quick fouls, and he'll take a trip to the bench. Chase Rogers looks like he's due checking. Going to go with the big ball lineup here. Bio sub, no good. Recover, Diego Lujan. Here comes Jason Guzzo, pushing it up. Tried to go inside to Isaiah Bachicha, but Nino Cisneros cleared that gap quickly. Isaiah Bachicha up tip, Chavez. Back over to Sandoval. Sandoval back over to Isaiah Bachicha. Bachicha going inside Levon Bachicha. Well, Matisha goes right through the legs of Nino Cisneros. Nonetheless, saying I hear Chase Rogers checking in now for Farmers. Isaiah Bachicha checking out, senior for senior. 2.57 remaining. We're going to have the pregame, sorry, not pregame show report. We're going to have the halftime show report coming up here in a while. Move on with a little flick of the wrist. Riles out of the toilet bowl up, no good. Elton Chavez here recovers. Elton Chavez has it. Slowing things down. Back on over Vios. He's going to take a three. I'm no good. Recover. Sandoval. Here comes Andy Sandoval. Going to push the envelope back over to Jace Rogers. Nice feet. Guzzo. Up and good. Jason Guzzo for Ecker. Do check in now again for the Panthers. Nino Cisneros has a two minute warning here from Pony Colorado. Jay Barella. Three ball. All the way there from I 25. Up and good from Jay Barella. Hey, Barella, six of his points all coming from the three ball. Jay Rogers has it, 2.05 remaining. Flips it on over there. 18 to 23 is the score. All Panthers here so far, they have the five point lead. Guzzo finding the outlet. He's going to go over to Sandoval, back over to Bachicha. Throws a body into Vios, up with it. Rogers up, no good. Tips. Here comes Chavez. 
makes Sandoval miss. Inside through the legs of Rogers. Cisneros up and good. Nino Cisneros. Six points here. Fireworks here for Moni, Colorado. Here comes Diego Lujan inside. Levon Bacicca. Levon Bacicca working on Barella. Sandoval finds his mark. Three ball. Good from Cougar Canyon. Uno, dos, tres. Anthony Sandoval. Here comes Nino Cisneros going to slow things down. Nino Cisneros back over to Elton Chavez. Back over three ball. Barella up. No good. Tipped. Jace Rogers. 110 remaining here in the first half. Back on over. Here comes Anthony Sandoval. Sandoval finds Guzzo on the left wing. One minute remaining here. Guzzo up. No good. Recovered. That's going to be Silva. Silva having his second rebound of the night. Bios brings the past timeline here for the Panthers. Bios back on over to now. It's just slowing things down here, trying to run their offense. Gabriella is just going to sling up a three, though. Three ball. Gabriella. Turn on the sprinkler system because Gabriella is on fire. Six of the last eight points here for the Panthers have been from the company of Gabriella. We mentioned. You got to watch him on the three ball here in that pregame show. Alton Chavez going up with Don Luan, up a good. 14 points, Alton Chavez. And a foul, low reach in. It'll be Jason Guzzo on the inbound. Acker checking in. Silva hits. No, it's actually going to be Brella hits the bench now for the Panthers. Brella hits the bench with foul number three. Now in deep foul trouble for him. And a travel there on Chase Rogers. Possession arrow goes purple. Seven seconds even remaining. 21 to 30 is your score, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes Rios. He needs to shoot it. And... Got uh, Sandoval on the inbound. You know, get a little reach in there on Anthony Sandoval. On the floor, Vios is gonna have it right here. Vios has it over to Chavez. One second remaining, Chavez, Hail Mary up and no good. End of one half, 21 to 30. We're gonna run a commercial and we're gonna bring a little halftime show report right to you guys, thank you. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Halftime Show Report. This Halftime Show Report is brought to you to LARCC Trucking of Honey, Colorado. Thank you to all of our sponsors here today. Obviously, LARCC, Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, Woody's Furniture, Cook Oil, World Journal, Wright Tires, First National Bank, and Walsh Community Grocery. Truly appreciate all your guys' support because without you, none of this would be possible. Comments and reactions here from the first half of play. Been a very highly contested game, but this Panthers team, you can see, are trending up towards the end of the first half. This Panthers team looking really good. Possibly could see this Panthers team coming out on fire here in the second half if they come out how they played in the first half because they are on fire. Going to bring some scoring totals so far Panthers doing a great job of containing LeVon Bacicca. He has zero points. Nathan Zamora has two. Jacob Magnet having a three ball. Jason Guzzo with four. Bobby Terry with four. Diego Lujan having a three ball. Anthony Sandoval having a three ball. And Jace Rogers with two. So your leading scorers brought to you there by Woody's Furniture are going to be Terry with four and Guzzo with four. On the other side, the leading scorer is going to be Elton Chavez with 14 points. You know, we said it. Elton Chavez is an easy double-double every night. You know, Elton Chavez just having another electrifying game. You know, Landacker also having one. Nino Cisneros with six. And then Gabriela, nine points, all coming from the three ball. The three-point specialist here 
for the Panthers, just getting it done tonight. So far, 21 to 30 is the score. Going to be 740 remaining here out of the locker room. We're going to be right back and bring a word from some of our sponsors. Thank you. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. The High Desert Hunting Company is based outside of beautiful Aguilar, Colorado at the foot of the Spanish Peaks. Their specialty is one-on-one -on -one guided hunting adventures targeting your once-in-a-lifetime trophy animal. Originally known as Zelly's Hunting Club when it was founded in the 1930s, the modern-day High Desert Hunting Company also specializes in leasing and managing high-quality private ranches for big game trophy hunts, bringing in clients from all over the world and bringing money into Los Animas County. Give them a call today. Cook Oil is your one-stop shop for everything you need on the farm or range. We provide auto and ag parts and a full line of feed and livestock supplements. And we can handle your bulk fuel and propane delivery needs. Don't forget, Cook Oil is also your only source for Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides east of I-25 and south of I-70. Stop in and see us at 105 West Santa Fe in Walsh or give us a call at 719-324-5273. Thanks, and good luck to the athletes competing in today's games. Lovato Concrete is a multi-generational family business that has proudly been serving its community for over 30 years. Lovato Concrete specializes in all types of concrete, including foundations, walls, sidewalks, slabs, driveways, and decorative stamped concrete. Big enough to handle large commercial projects, but caring enough to take pride in residential projects too. They'll get your project done right. Give them a call today at 719-680-8512. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, 
which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. Lovato Concrete is a multi-generational family business that has proudly been serving its community for over 30 years. Lovato Concrete specializes in all types of concrete, including foundations, walls, sidewalks, slabs, driveways, and decorative stamped concrete. Big enough to handle large commercial projects, but caring enough to take pride in residential projects too. They'll get your project done right. Give them a call today at 719-680-8512. Cook Oil is your one-stop shop for everything you need on the farm or range. We provide auto and ag parts and a full line of feed and livestock supplements. And we can handle your bulk fuel and propane delivery needs. Don't forget, Cook Oil is also your only source for Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides east of I-25 and south of I-70. Stop in and see us at 105 West Santa Fe in Walsh or give us a call at 719-324-5273. Thanks and good luck to the athletes competing in today's games. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get back into the action. Second half action here, all on the Saturday Rock Sports Network. Panthers are up 21 to 30. And start of the third quarter. Let's do this. Here comes Vios. He has it. Vios going to go inside, working on Guzzo. Back on over to Silva. Tip magnet. Here comes Barella. Barella working inside him. No good. Elton Chavez up with it. Chavez, good. 16 points, Elton Chavez. Bajos handling point guard duties. Played 19 of the 20 games last year for the Panthers. 1.5 points per game and 1.6 rebounds per game. Wore the number 14 jersey last year. Guzzo's three rattles right out. Here comes Chavez running and gunning. Chavez, feet on over. Up and good. Nino Cisneros. Eight points. For him, Magnan back on over to Zamora. Zamora feet inside, but Chicha throws a body into Barella and a foul. Thank you all who have joined us here so far on the Saturday Rock Sports Network. Feel free to subscribe and turn on that bell icon. Helps us and gets us more views on YouTube. So, And if you want to become a sponsor, please feel free to contact myself, Brad Doherty, or anyone at the Saturday Rock Sports Network, and we'll get that taken care of for you guys. Ecker checking in for Barella. Barella has four. Pachicha misses the first one. Pachicha, though, connects on that one. He has one now on the night. One point for number one. Here comes Vajos. Vajos slowing things down. Going to go over the right wing. Vajos trapped there by Guzzo. Vajos looking for an outlet. Just going to go up with himself. And it goes into off of the iron. 
Bajos now two points for the five starters. Half score now for the Walsenburg Panthers. 22-36 is the score. Panthers up by 14 with a demanding lead. Zamora here over to Bachicha. Guzzo slowing things down. Going to go back on over Zamora inside. Guzzo tip there by Silva. Back on over. That's going to be Zamora. Zamora over to Guzzo. Guzzo from downtown up no good. Tips Elton Chavez. Bachicha up and good. Elton Chavez on fire now. In the second half, going on to Bachicha, 10.3 points per game, 5.8 defense or rebounds per game. Two double doubles on the season, most notably fueled by 26 points versus Springer in round one of the TSC tourney. Nino Cisneros now heading to the charity stripe. Last time the Farmers were out was with a 42 to 29 loss versus Fowler, led by 13 points on 55% shooting from Gage Gottbehu. Cisneros cannot connect on his first. Cisneros last year, nine points and 11 points versus Honey. Obviously being in the 2A Santa Fe League, they play each other twice, one home, one away. So average 10 points per game on his split. 13 points and 11 rebounds in game one of the TSC tourney last year for him. He ended up getting a t-shirt there being on the all TSC tourney team. As the snare's connected there, he's got nine. Here comes Zamora. Zamora has it back on over to Guzzo. Back on over, here comes Bachicha right wing. Guzzo thought about it, gonna go on over to Zamora. Zamora from downtown, up no good, recovered. Here comes Nino Cisneros. Nino Cisneros is gonna push it up, feet inside, Levon Bachicha, finger roll up and good. Timeout, Rodolfi. 15 point lead from the Panthers. We're going to be right back here all on the Sad Rock Sports Network. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Ladies and gentlemen, coming out of the break, 24 to 39 is the score. 15 point lead here for the Panthers. Currently sitting at 772 subscribers. Let's try to get to 800 by the end of the weekend. We're gonna have Crawley County basketball Friday night here from Honey, Colorado. I'll be bringing that to you guys. And then you're gonna have a lot of Kim Branson action. You know, I'm gonna go on down to Kim later Saturday. Gonna be a four game stretch there. They're gonna be playing Wiley Panthers. So we're gonna have a lot of basketball here on Tap Side Rock Sports Network and we're happy to bring it here all to you guys. Back into the action, Jacob Magnet tipped. Last touch there from Elton Chavez. Going to be Jason Guzzo handling the inbound. Farmers trying to avoid three game losing streak and trying to keep the 1,799 day winning streak versus Walsenberg. Chavez lays a body and Guzzo up and a little foul. Well, something to watch now for the Farmers. Two of their starters now with three fouls. Jason Guzzo, Bobby Terry with three fouls each. It's going to be critical now for the Farmers. <laughs> Alton Chavez connects. Sandoval checking in for Guzzo. Jace Rogers do check in. Chavez currently has 19 points. LeVon Bichicha checking out. A little mix and match now for the Farmers. Up from Chavez, up no good. Tip Magnet. Magnet going to bring it inside. He hits the rim. Luhan up with it, a foul. Put it in the scorebook and send Luhan to the line. Diego Luhan, 2.2 points per game, 1.8 rebounds per game, five points 
with 100% from the field versus Fowler last week. And Lujan misses the first one. Coach Rodolfi's fired up here. Here comes Vajo, says Lujan did not connect on his two free throws. Here comes Sandoval, wide open. Sandoval loses dribble, out of bounds, heading the other way. All but two points there for Sandoval. No look pass over there, Silva. Silva, Vajos, rattles right out of the iron. Chavez up, good. To the window, to the wall. Elton Chavez. Here comes Nathan Zamora. Backdoor Jacob Magnet. Picks his pocket, here comes Elton Chavez. Elton Chavez working on Rogers. One, two, step up. Little yo, step up, no good. Isaiah Batista do check in the senior for the Hummy Farmers. Gabe Barella now due to check in. Ladies and gentlemen, something to watch. Gabe Barella has four fouls. Nine points in the first half. He's handling the inbound here. Len Necker hits the bench, but Gabe Barella currently has four. Here comes Barella. Flip on over to Chavez. Working on the two seniors of the Farmers. Deep ball from Barella, but no good. Len and Necker due to check back in. Could be very well back in for Barella, you know. You got a mix and bat match Barella now at the end of this game as Lujan from Cougar Canyon. The bank's open, Diego Lujan, six. Landon Ecker due to check in. You know, going, you're gonna have to mix and match Gabe Barella now with four fouls. You cannot lose Gabe Barella. Little reach in there. The hook on Diego Lujan. Gabriella going to hit the bench there. As expected, Landon Ecker checking in. Adrian Silva here now checking in. Going to sling it on over to Nino Cisneros. Farmers are without Alan Moraz. He has played in all nine games so far for the Farmers. He is out tonight. Here comes Vajos left wing. Flipping on over to Chavez. Vajos having a nice defensive game so far for the Panthers. 27 to 42 is the score. Here comes Chavez. And good call there. Lester Berry, quick timeout. We're going to take a time of our own. We're going to be right back here all on the Sun Rock Sports Network. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road, right next to Big R, for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. Brock Bernelli, Raven Odom here in studio. 27 to 42 is the score, 308 remaining. Farmers are down here. Looking for a spark here against the Panthers. Head coach Lester Berry trying to close the sweep here tonight for the Panthers. Back to the action. Here comes Elton Chavez. He's going to have it. Elton Chavez has it working inside. Flipping on over to Silva. Silva up and good. The bank's open. And now all five starters for the Panthers have scored 255 remaining. 27 to 44 is the score. Here comes Sandoval, gonna flip it on over. Here's gonna be Lujan. Lujan from three up and no good. He's one for two here in the third quarter. Here comes Vallejos. Vallejos back in the hands of Ecker. Tip Bachicha. Back over to Silva. Cisneros from three. Up, rouse right off the iron. Recovered. Back over to Silva. Silva, no good. Can't connect there back to back to make it four unanswered and a foul. Gonna be Acker his second. Hey, 
Here comes Zamora, bringing it up here for the Farmers. Going to flip it on over to Isaiah Bachicha. Back on over to Rogers. Taken away. Here comes Adrian Silva. Silva working. Going to slow things down, work his offense over to point guard. Chavez thought about it. Farmers ain't getting smothered on Chavez. Farmers are giving Chavez at least three foot of space to make a play. He's going to take it. Up and good. And that's why you do not give Elton Chavez space. 23 points. And a little reach in there. That's going to be called on Nino Cisneros. Give him a little elbow there. Foul number one of the nine, Nino Cisneros. Zamora's going to handle the inbound. Zamora, 3.2 assists per game, two points versus Fowler. Both of them coming on 100% from three free throws. Dega Lujan now, nine. Dega Lujan, all nine of his points come from three ball. Dega Lujan having a nice game. Silva up with the three ball of no good. Been a three point contest here so far in third quarter and a travel there on Nino Cisneros. Possession arrow goes white. You know, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Diego Lujan these last two games. Had five on 100% from the field last time out. Nine points now in this game. Diego Lujan trending up here in his season. I'm liking what I'm seeing there from the junior Diego Lujan. Levon Bacicha do check back in. Isaiah Bacicha, three ball, little star step up, no good. Recovered, Elton Chavez. Here comes Elton Chavez pushing it up. Look inside, slips and hands it off. Silva, good, four points from Adrian Silva Jr. Here comes Nathan Zamora, 18 point lead. Farmers had Bachicha wide open on that right wing for a second. Nonetheless, back on to Lujan. Feet inside Sandoval, trapped by Cisneros and Ecker. Back over to Rogers, recovers his dribble. Here comes Sandoval, pump fake up, no good, recovered. Elton Chavez, 33 remaining, 30 to 48 to score. Here comes Chavez. We got a foul, we'll reach in. Von is gonna check in now for the Farmers. Second foul of the night from Anthony Sandoval. Isaiah Bachicha hits the bench. Thank you all who have joined us so far here on the Sour Rock Sports Network. Feel free to subscribe, give us a like here on this video or give us a like on Facebook. All that truly helps us out and shows the support. So we truly appreciate you guys. Silva now with six. Four unanswered from the Panthers. 30 to 50, 13 seconds remaining. Lujan up, no good. Bachicha up with it, Viles hits the deck. Bachicha up, no good, recovered. Here comes Chavez, three seconds remaining. Chavez, hero step, hand off to Snarrows. Buzzer beater. And just like that, the end of three. 30 to 54 is your score. End of three. We're going to be right back here all on the Sad Rock Sports Network. The High Desert Hunting Company is based outside of beautiful Aguilar, Colorado at the foot of the Spanish Peaks. Their specialty is one-on-one -on -one guided hunting adventures targeting your once-in-a-lifetime trophy animal. Originally known as Zelly's Hunting Club when it was founded in the 1930s, the modern-day High Desert Hunting Company also specializes in leasing and managing high-quality private ranches for big-game trophy hunts, bringing in clients from all over the world and bringing money into Los Animas County. Give them a call today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. Brock Brunel here in studio with Raven Odom on the camera. 30 to 52, currently the score. Farmers are down 22, trying to crawl out of this deficit, trying not to go down a three game losing streak hole. Walsberg obviously mentioned the pregame show, trying to stack off of that Primero win. So far with this, they can win, they're on a two game winning streak. Here comes Zamora flipping on over Jacob Maganet. Jacob Maganet back on over Bobby Terry. Bobby Terry slings on over Nathan Zamora. Smothered there by Viles. Goes through the legs of Pachicha. They hit the deck. Here comes Nino Cisneros. Nino Cisneros tipped in a foul.
It's going to be number four on Jason Guzzo. Jason Guzzo has no more fouls to give now for the Farmers. Here comes Vajos back on over to Chavez. Chavez has it. Going inside low Euro step. Silva again the other way. Potential spark now for the Farmers. 7-31 remaining down 22. 30-52 is the score. Here comes Nathan Zamora. And Zamora going to go over to Jacob McEnan, back over to Isaiah Bacicca. I mean, sorry, LeVon Bacicca, my apologies. LeVon Bacicca, little Euro step up and no good. Here comes Silva. 7-15 remaining. Back on over. Here comes and tipped. Vios recovers. Backcourt violation. Now going off to Barella, you know, we haven't seen him. You know, we're going to go back to, you know, Barella here. 4.7 points per game last year. Seven points in the season finale versus Hawley last year. Also played on the baseball team his sophomore year. Pitching in nine of the 20 games with 19 strikeouts. It's a little fun fact there. We're going to hit a timeout after this word now from Cook Oil. Cook Oil is your one-stop shop for everything you need on the farm or range. We provide auto and ag parts and a full line of feed and livestock supplements. And we can handle your bulk fuel and propane delivery needs. Don't forget, Cook Oil is also your only source for Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides east of I-25 and south of I-70. Stop in and see us at 105 West Santa Fe in Walsh or give us a call at 719-324-5273. Thanks and good luck to the athletes competing in today's games. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. Panthers up big here in the fourth quarter with 7.08 remaining up 22 whole points. 30 to 52 is the score. Farmers possession. Farmers got to move quick to find a way to get somehow back into this game. Zamora back on over to Bachicha. Bachicha, little spin up, no good. Recovered, Vajos. Back on over to Acker. Here comes Nino Cisneros. Nino Cisneros feet inside, long from Silva, up and good. Three ball from Silva. Here comes Zamora. Nine points now from Silva. Zero in the first half, nine in the second half. Feet inside Bachicha. Double teamed. No, 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 says Elton Chavez. Back on over Zamora. Zamora back on over. So far tonight, Elton Chavez has more rejections than Harvard Law School. He's on fire so far tonight. And foul. And that is going to be on Jason Guzzo. His night's done with 6.08 remaining. Jason Guzzo ending the contest with four points now for the Farmers. They'll be without Guzzo now for the rest of the night. Jason Guzzo, 6.8 points per game, 3.3 assists per game. First with rebounds per game for the Farmers with 6.4, four assists and five rebounds versus Fowler. His night ending with four. Here comes Vallejos, up no good. Recovered, Sandoval newly entered into the game. Trinidad transfer is going to handle it on back over Jacob Maganet. Back on over Bobby Terry, Bobby Terry up, no good. And a foul. Going to be on Bobby Terry, number four. <laughs> Little confusion there. Looks like the foul isn't going to be on Bobby Terry. So nonetheless, it's going to be Farmer's ball. Here comes Nathan Zamora. Back on over. Pump fake Terry. Terry going inside him, no good. Recover Nino Cisneros.
Panthers are at a quarter century mark up, 25 now on the Farmers. Diego Lujan do check in, he's the leading scorer tonight for the Farmers. Right tire of Kim Colorado, scoring leaders for the Farmers, Diego Lujan with nine, and Elton Chavez with 23. Rejected, here comes Sandoval up with it, no good. Nino Cisneros might have got a hand on it. Back on over, here comes Magnet. Back over Nathan Zamora, pump fake. Nathan Zamora gonna slow things down. Nathan Zamora working inside. Inside, Bobby Terry up with it. No good, Rouse off the rim. Gets a rebound, can't get it off the glass. Elton Chavez slowing things down. Very smart, just slowing down your offense. When to get a high quality shot here. 4.30 remaining, 30 to 55 is the score. Elton Chavez back on over. That's gonna be taken away, picking the pocket of Terry back in the hands of Snails. Snails up, and a foul. See, they're gonna call that on. That's gonna be on Bobby Terry. So they did call that foul on Bobby Terry earlier. That is number five. So now two of the five Honey Farmers starters have fouled out. Bobby Terry leaving the contest with four. Bobby Terry on the season, 5.9 points per game, fifth on the team, four rebounds per game, six steals on the season, one for four on his free throws. He leaves the contest tonight with four points. Nino Cisneros connected on the first one. He has 12 points so far now for the Panthers. And connects on that 100% from Charity Toss for Nino Cisneros. Back on over, that's gonna be Nathan Zamora. Nathan Zamora has a left wing. Jacob Magnet, three point specialist, up no good from Cougar Canyon. Lujan trying to strip it in, a foul little reach in. Four oh four remaining. Maurice Reese Pachicha do check in now for the Farmers. That was number two on Lujan. And fifth foul, I believe, of the fourth quarter. And Nino Cisneros just icing the game away now. Last three free throws. Last three good. Nino Cisneros connects again, 15. He's making his money now from the charity stripe. Back on Maurice Bachicha. Back in there, Magnet. Bodies hit the deck. Barella has four fouls, something to watch now for the Panthers. Bachicha up with it, no good. Recovered Gabe Barella. Gabe Barella slowing things down, 342 remaining. Here comes Vajos, rolls off his ankle. Staying right here, last touch I believe there by Bachicha. Chicha and Sandoval both in the area. I believe Bachicha last got his fingertip on that. Cisneros back on over to Chavez. Back on over Cisneros, pump fake up a good. 17 points, Nino Cisneros. Back on over, Anthony Sandoval. Here comes LaVon Bachicha. And here comes out to Chavez, breakaway. Up and good. Put 25 in, Elton Chavez. Mike Rodolfi not agreeing with that last out of bounds call there. Vajos back on over, pump fake Chavez. Just slowing things down, smart to kill the clock here. Vajos up, no good, recovered. Cisneros up. Rattles right out, recovered. Silva tipped. Back in the hands, that's gonna be Bachicha. Back on over to Bachicha. No Bachicha to Bachicha. Swap there, that's gonna be Levon Bachicha on over to Lujan. Lujan up, no good. 
New forward to check in. That's going to be Jacob Sabutova for the first time tonight. Caden Marquez, Jace Rogers, and Isaiah Bachicha. Back on over, tipped. Here comes wide open. Elton Chavez up and good. Put 27 in the box score. Elton Chavez. Timeout, Rodolfi. Timeout, Sad Rock Sports Network. This is high school basketball all on the Sad Rock Sports Network. Lovato Concrete is a multi-generational family business that has proudly been serving its community for over 30 years. Lovato Concrete specializes in all types of concrete, including foundations, walls, sidewalks, slabs, driveways, and decorative stamped concrete. Big enough to handle large commercial projects, but caring enough to take pride in residential projects too. They'll get your project done right. Give them a call today at 719-680-8512. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. 30 to 65 is the score. Westerberry's Wassenberg Panthers have two timeouts remaining. Honey Farmers with one remaining. Kate Mark is up, no good. Kate Mark is up. Can't get it, and hand it away. Thank you all who have joined us so far here on the Sour Rock Sports Network. These games will be up and running after the live event, so we're gonna keep it right here in the timeout. But anyway, thank you all who have joined us so far. We greatly appreciate it here on the Sour Rock Sports Network. So far here, 772 subscribers. Let's try to get it to 800 by the end of the weekend. That'd be very nice. So 28 more. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the Sound Rock Sports Network. We greatly appreciate it. And if you want to become a sponsor, please feel free to contact myself or Brad Doherty or anyone at the Sound Rock Sports Network and get that going as soon as possible. Because with great sponsors and great viewership, that's how we're being able to continue to run. So... Coming out of the timeout now, 143 remaining. 30 to 65 is your score, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like the Walsenberg Panthers are gonna leave Honey with the win for their boys varsity team. Silva misses the first one. You know, out of that timeout, Elton Chavez left the game. Expect that to be the last of him tonight. Jaden Hipschman and Silva connects. Double digits now for Silva. Bios checks in now for Silva. Now all the starters now out for the Panthers besides Vallejos and Barella sitting with four fouls, but she's up no good. David Valdez also checked in for the Panthers. And good. 118 remaining. Here comes Vios on over to Barella. Barella has it. Barella back on over to Vios. Flips on over to the senior Valdez. Valdez has it. Back on over tipped. Clock still running here from Honey, Colorado. Bios just gonna slow things down and come out victorious here. One and one, obviously we've had that since the fourth quarter of the start of it. That was on Reese Pachicha. We have the LARCC postgame show of Honey Colorado coming up. Going to run their commercial and then be bringing the postgame show report. Be bringing the final comments and reactions of tonight's game. Stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. Isaiah Pachicha up with it. Up, no good. Rogers recovers. Two seconds remaining. No good. Tipped. And now the ball game, 32 to 67. We're going to run that ad and be coming up with the final comments reactions of tonight's game. 
LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is the LARCC post-game show report. Final from Honey, Colorado, 32-67. to This Panthers team come out now 5-4 and four on the year. Farmers go down a three-game losing streak down to 4-5 and five on the year. Final comments and reactions. This was all Panthers pretty much and probably 80% of this game. Going on over to the point totals, Anthony Sandoval starting off with the Farmers with three, Jace Rogers with two, Dega Lujan with nine. Guzzo and Terry got fouled out late into the fourth quarter for each for Terry and Guzzo. Magnet with three, Zamora with two, and Levon Bacicca got held to three. On over to the victorious side, the Walsenburg Panthers just coming up huge in this game. Just a huge game. Everything as advertised, this team is trending up, led by second year head coach Lester Berry. Gone on over to them, Nino Cisneros. Didn't even seem like it, just had a cool 17 points. Most of them just coming off of drawing fouls, going to the stripe and getting it done. Nino Cisneros just having a great high quality game there. And you know, Adrian Silva, zero points in the first half, 10 for him in the second. Barella with nine, Vios with three. And then Landon Ecker with one. And, you know, everything as advertised, Elton Chavez leaving tonight's contest with a cool 27 points for the Walsenburg Panthers. Just coming up huge there, Elton Chavez. You know, we said college recruit scouts, recruit him or play him because this guy is elite. Elton Chavez coming up with 27 points. He is indeed making it easy on me tonight being the LARCC player of the game congratulations there to elton chavez you are the larcc player of the game we're going to be back here friday here for crawley county versus honey you're not going to want to miss it keep up on the sad rock sports network facebook page and youtube channel for upcoming games and events thank you all who have tuned in tonight brock Bernelli signing off from studio thank you and god bless